this out and I saw Deadpool 2. It is directed by David Leach, written by Rhett, Reese, Paul Werwick, and Ryan Reynolds. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This movie starts when we're following Wade Wilson and he's been doing some crime fighting with his girlfriend Vanessa and they're doing some crime but on one night of crime committing Wade was like oh I'm doing a dude and he missed right he should have executed the enemy but he left that enemy live not intentionally showing mercy and so that enemy came back and killed Vanessa I mean I'm dude come on man just why would you you should have made sure that he was dead but now she is dead and now you're upset you go to blind Al she's like don't do anything stupid and you decide to blow yourself up and I'm like I don't consider that stupid because he has healing abilities okay he just wants to die but he keeps not dying because he has healing abilities he's so sad or does this also heal his ability to remember what happened to or something? So now he's so sad, right? And I'm like, this is so sad. I feel bad for you, Wade. We got a good pal Colossus here, though. He's like, hey, I know you're feeling bad, man. You're feeling sad about Vanessa's death. Let me take you to this place. And oh, wow, look, she got some tokens of her before she died. Here you go. Here's a nice little ski ball token. You guys are on a date. Here you go. And I'm like, this is cute. I feel really bad because Wade Wilson is just forever alone. Here's another person he has to deal with dying and this is probably one of the first people he has to deal with dying but he will have to deal with more people dying in the future. He has recently just got his powers within like the past decade. So he has many many years to come. I feel bad for him already. There's also this mutant. His name is Russell and he's at an orphanage and he's kind of a bad seed oh man he hates the orphanage headmaster he's like Ugh. and of course we have colossus and deadpool they have to deal with the situation what's interesting russell's just kind of like a younging he could go any which way direction and i'm like man i don't think he's got goodness in him necessarily but he also is not completely evil so there might be some redeeming factors to him but of course, now we have cables in the picture. He's like time traveling, comes back to the past, and he's like, I'm going to destroy Russell right here, right now. And I'm like, this is kind of not good. Just, just not good. Of course, Deadpool's like, well, we gotta protect Russell. So they like take him out of prison. <laughs> Because he's not, he's, he's doing a bunch of bad things. He gets sent to prison. He's on a prison bus. They take him in order to protect him from Cable. And I'm like, well, I don't think you should have done that because Cable knows more about him than you guys do, okay? He has this grudge against his headmaster at the orphanage who was so gracious and so kind to even give him a place to sleep at when his parents are not here, doesn't exist on the earth, okay, dude? And you're here just like, I have a grudge against him. We gotta kill him. Urgh. And he gets freaking Juggernaut out of prison to help him with this. Convinces Juggernaut not hey we gotta kill this guy and juggernaut's like okay uh, yeah i'm so juggernaut i'm so big and i like juggernaut he's such a simple character he seems to be very easily manipulated this juggernaut guy and so now it's, it's proven that this guy is not a good guy okay he's just breaking people out of freaking prison and i like how deadpool's like yeah i get it i made the mistake of thinking this guy was cool okay we gotta go freaking fight him and cable's on her side because he wants to stop russell from killing his family in the future He's gonna cause this murder if he gets the headmaster murder then it's gonna be a whole like series of things and he's going to kill Cable's family in the future and I don't want that, no one wants that. And so they're all fighting together, they're all banding together and of course there's another attempt at undeading or I guess unaliving himself and he's unsuccessful because he can heal again. And I'm like, I'm sorry that you keep doing that Deadpool. I feel sorry for you, you just wanna be with Vanessa so bad. Vanessa 
vehicle is really cool. Now you don't want to deal with this situation, so I completely understand. How are we going to stop Russell from killing the headmaster? Well, I like this movie a lot because there's just so many comedic moments, such as we have successfully stopped Russell from killing the headmaster. But on the way back from this, the taxi guy from the first Deadpool, and he just makes his appearances throughout the Deadpool movies, who's taxiing Deadpool, runs over the headmaster that they're trying to prevent Russell from killing. I'm like, oh boy, so Russell's gone, and so is the headmaster. This is a disaster. Deadpool is so set on getting deaded that he jumps in front of a bullet intended for somebody else. And he's like, oh, I'm dying, I'm dead. Oh, and I have this thing on me that makes it so that my abilities don't work. I'm dead. He's like, oh, I'm with Vanessa now. Woo, right? And I'm like, yes, you're with Vanessa now. Yay, good for you, Deadpool. I'm sorry you're dead. But, you know, you with Vanessa and Cable, like the cock blocker he is, he's like, oh, I'm just gonna go back in time and I'm going to put this little token. You remember the token from the beginning of the movie? Put that token in front of your heart so the bullet doesn't hit your heart and now you're not dead anymore. I'm like, oh man, you just ruined it for Deadpool, man. You just wanted to die. Then now he won't die. But Cable's like, well, I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna protect the future by staying here now in the present and stopping all threats that's come up. And I'm like, that good man, Cable, but wouldn't you want to be with your family? Oh, wait, your family's dead. I get it. But wait, how are you going to create your family if you're in the present? How does this, how does it work? Wait, is Cable smart? I don't know. This was a fun movie. I like this movie. I think I liked Deadpool 1 a little bit more just because of the novelty of it when it first came out. It was a pretty fun film. I really enjoyed the comedy. I feel like the comedy is good in this one too. It's different than the first one, it has to be. You got kind of like the same gags at the very beginning of the credits. You got like Butthead made this or whatever. I forget the exact credits, but they were funny. They weren't like the actual names of who created it, which I find to be funny. And then there's like several like meta jokes and I'm excited for Deadpool 3, which is gonna have Wolverine, yeah. Oh boy, I'm so excited. It made me feel really bad for Deadpool because he can't be with Vanessa. But, you know, he's gonna get over it eventually. That's what I believe. Yeah, I think he's going to get over it. Everyone did a pretty good job in acting in this and lots of fourth wall breaks. Good job. Good job, Ryan Reynolds. You did a good job in this movie. Although I liked Deadpool's one slightly more than this one, just for the novelty of it. This didn't suck which was good. Sometimes sequels suck. Sometimes they're more good than the first one, but this is, I guess, slightly worse, just in the slightest sense. So this is a 7.2 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one on the platform really likes that. If you want a fast track movie review, you can do that for $20 dinos at patreon.com slash presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to this link tree, find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews. So I can go here, and until next time, I've been Sal Sauce, see you later, my Sal Croutons and Bacon Bits.